are such an asshole. How you kids doing? We're back at the Southern Command. Yes, we're back to the crappy travel camera. And those high definition videos are going to be rare treats, rare treats, because the bandwidth required to upload those things is enormous. I have to go to uh, either a, a cafe I know that has really good bandwidth or a cigar lounge because the town, the towns, the homes I'm at do not, and I'm not going to spend mon that much money to get the, the bandwidth that's necessary to upload. That's like insane. Uh, we had, along with my book report on how to sell anything to anyone by Harry Brown, uh, the client also wanted me to do a clarity test on Harry Brown, which I threw that and I'm like, okay, yeah, because the guy paid an enormous sum for me to do and read a book. So let's take a look at Harry Brown. I do believe this is the uh, libertarian. Okay, yep, he's the guy. Okay. <clears throat> Harry Edson, you don't hear that name anymore. Edson Brown, born 1933, was an American writer, politician, and investment advisor. He was the Libertarian Party's presidential nominee in the United States election of 1996 and 2000. He's the author of 12 books in total that have sold more than 2 million copies. Man, oh, if the old captain's book sold 2 million copies. Holy cow. Then I'd really, really, really be retired. I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume, after reading his book and his very accurate and precise assessment of human psychology, specifically as it pertains to microeconomics, that he was brought up poor and had to figure out how to make ends meet very quickly. So he had to be a very astute student of human psychology. Uh, he was born in New York City and spent his time growing up in Los Angeles. That's it? That's all I got? <clears throat> uh, he was inducted in the U.S. Army in 1953. Southwest Signal Corps, cryptography, sent to Bikini Atoll. Ooh, we got to see the hydrogen bombs. Okay, that's interesting. Went to Inuitok to finish his tour of duty, transferred into the reserves, released from active duty in 1956. I don't know, he discharged, blah, blah, blah. Brown worked as an advertising and sales executive in the 1960s. He devoted himself full-time to the Americanist cause. He believed that the newspapers of America would willingly buy material promoting the American way of life. So in 1961, he took on the proprietorship. Well, that's right right before it crapped out, isn't it? Maybe back in the 40s and 50s, they were pro-America, but starting in the 60s and definitely the 70s, the newspapers were like, you fuck America, man. Proprietorship of American Way Features incorporated a newspaper feature service and as managing editor inaugurated a plan to turn the service from a subsidized program into a profit-making service. He sold Americanist features in competition with all the recognized syndicates. His own column, The American Way, appeared in over 200 newspapers throughout America. In summer 62, Brown was named the advertising manager for Liberty Amendment Committee's bi-monthly... Um, God almighty, the fucking number of syllables... By month, the American Progress for Economic Freedom. In October, he was named Associate Editor, Investment Theory, 60s, taught courses such as the Economics of Freedom, Tools of Success, Presidential Candidate, blah, blah, blah. Well, he's dead now. Oh, died of Lou Gehrig's disease. Um, okay, so he obviously has... Real-world working experience, he gets a point for that. It doesn't say anything about his education, which I don't think he has anything, so he doesn't <clears throat> get a point for that. Probably worked till he died. I gotta find out about the folks. Harry Brown. Parents. I got Ancestry.com. Let's do Harry Brown bio. Facts, childhood, blah, 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 blah. Here we go. Famous as both a two-time literary parent, author, economic advisor, portfolio, partner, and then as far as thing, uh, doesn't see. Find out. There's nothing about his childhood. Let's do a Harry Brown childhood. Just was there. All right, let's go here, people. Harry Brown, Harry Brown. Ok. 
career, armed service, activist investment theory, portfolio concept. Yeah, there's not much on his childhood. They're all just pulling from Wikipedia. What concerns me is he just became a, an executive in, um, <clears throat> in sales. It's a different Harry Brown. Nope, that's not it. I'm sorry, there may not be much on his childhood. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna assume he didn't come from wealth. <clears throat> and the reason I'm gonna say is 1933. He was born into the Great Depression, and um, he got drafted. I'm just gonna assume he didn't come from money. So no wealth could be wrong on that. Uh, has real world working experience. Uh, didn't major. Didn't look. Looks like he didn't go to college and went right to work. Foreign concept for you youngins out there. And then uh, he probably, yeah, he worked till he was dead, was never successful. Would I have a beer with him? Hell yes, of course I'd have a beer with him. Um, probably the most successful libertarian. And he succeeds in libertarianism and never winning office, <laughs> which is the epitomal definition of libertarian. You can't be a libertarian if you won political office, all right? It's like, you can't be a millennial. I got a lot of young people who are of the millennial age and like, am I a millennial? I'm like, do you have a job? They're like, yeah. I'm like, no, nah, you can't be a millennial, sorry. You're an honorary member of Generation X. If you have a job and you're a millennial, you honorarily become a member of Generation X. You have no shame. <laughs> uh, and should he run for all? He should, and he did. I'm glad he did. He should have ran for the Republican Party, but the Libertarian Party will never hire out asshole consulting to be this political uh, consultant and advisor. So, All right, that's it. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. See you all later. Toodles.